finished berming around the outside edge of our rainwater sand cistern. The purpose of berming is to create a depression for our cistern. We want the soil surface in our cistern to be six to eight inches lower than the surrounding soil surface. The reason for this is to aid in water percolation. As water enters our sand cistern, it's not gonna move immediately into the soil, and instead it's gonna pool on the surface. So we have this nice depressed area where water can pool and then slowly percolate through our sand columns and our soil down into the storage area below. Now, if you've ever laid out a garden from a plan you've designed on paper, you'll know that things on paper don't always work perfectly when we get out into the landscape. There's often obstacles that we need to overcome. And we had one such obstacle as we were designing our sand cistern. The under drain that we laid to pull off the excess or overflow water from the cistern happened to be about six inches higher than what we were expected. And what this caused us to do was have to raise the sand layer up six inches so that it was at the base of that under drain. And of course, as we raised everything up, our final soil layer ended up being also six inches higher than we expected. And this might not be a problem in some areas, but what happened is the soil surface in here ended up being higher than our cottage. What we've done is raise the soil level surrounding the cistern. And of course, we're gonna run into a few problematic areas. And one of these happened to be right next to the cottage. We don't wanna pile soil up against the cottage. It'll cause some rotting of the wood and we might get termites in there. So what we're gonna to have to do is come in and install a low retaining wall to hold back that soil. Now, of course, there's a plus side to this extra work. What we've ended up doing is creating a really nice raised planting bed that we could grow in later. We have a little bit of soil work to do since we've brought in some soil to raise up the surrounding bed, even with our berm. We want to slope the soil gently away from the top of the berm to the surrounding grade. And we want that to be a nice, gentle slope. If it's too steep, we'll have big problems with runoff uh, and erosion from water. Now, we happen to have our berm on the south edge meet our path very close. There's only a couple feet in here. We don't have enough room to create that gentle slope that we need. So we had to come up with another option here. And to solve this problem, we've decided to come in and we're gonna lay some large boulders throughout this area and that'll hold our berm back and prevent it from washing into our pathway. Well, we were hoping to build our dry creek bed and start moving some of the water from the cottage into our cistern, but we have to do a little grading work and overcome some of these challenges first. 